Now that we know a bit about the physical processes behind photovoltaic energy conversion, let's take a look at the device that does this, a solar cell. In the next few weeks we will go deep into all the operating principles of solar cells. We will discuss the semiconductor physics and optics governing their behavior and you will really get a sense of how solar cells work. But let's start by trying to understand an important aspect of any electrical component. The current voltage or IV characteristics of the solar cell. Here we see a basic solar cell schematic. There are many different components and layers and you will become familiar with the properties and purposes of all these layers throughout the course. All you need to know for this video is that a solar cell can take energy from illumination and convert it into electrical energy in an external circuit. This video objective is to answer what. You will need to go through the rest of the course to understand why and how. In this video I will quickly explain to you what the current voltage characteristic of a solar cell is. We will try to understand some basic parameters of a solar cell. Here we can see a typical current versus voltage characteristic of a solar cell under illumination. We will delve further into how, the cal how to calculate this curve in later videos, but now we can just look at some important parameters of the curve. First off, we can see that the curve passes through the x-axis. Since current is zero at this point, this point essentially represents the voltage a solar cell would exhibit when disconnected from any external circuit. As such, we call this point the open circuit voltage or VOC. Similarly, we can see the crossing of the curve along the y-axis. This point is equivalent to short circuiting the solar cell as the voltage on either electrode of the solar cell is equal. As such, we call this the short circuit current or ISC. Let's look at this curve a little further and consider the power output of a solar cell. You should know that the power is equal to the product of the current and voltage. We will represent the product of the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current with a yellow box. This power is greater than the maximum power that a solar cell can produce. However, it will be useful to calculate the solar cell's efficiency. Now we can see the power as a function of voltage. We can see that there is a point where the power generated by the solar cell is maximized. We call this our maximum power point. The voltage at this maximum power point is given here as VMP and the current as IMP. You can see that the VMP is less than the VOC and the IMP is less than the ISC. This is always the case. The product of VMP and IMP gives the maximum power we can generate, which we denote here as P max. We define the ratio of P max to the product of VOC and ISC as the fill factor or FF. The fill factor essentially shows the quality of our solar cell. A greater fail factor implies a greater fraction of that theoretical power can be produced. With these terms we can define our conversion efficiency, eta. The efficiency of any such system is first defined by the power output divided by the input power, which we will call Pi. With these equations you can see that we can call the maximum power output simply Pmax. We could also define it as the product of VMP and IMP. Finally, we can also use the VOC and ISC and the fill factor. All of these terms are equal. You should now understand the IV characteristics of a solar cell. You know the basic external parameters, VOC, ISC and fill factor and how to calculate the efficiency based on these values. In the next video, we will learn how to model this IV behavior with electrical components in an equivalent circuit.